say that and and to bring in color and to say that you know that she was kicked out of the group because she was the dark skin girl it's crazy she was brought into the group because she was the dark skin girl you know definitely that's I feel like my perspective of colorism is based on what I saw as beautiful within my community, the Ethiopian community, but also the black community. It's like there's an established category and specific characteristics of what makes a black woman beautiful enough. Am I light enough? Is my hair soft enough? Is my nose narrow enough? There's black people, but then there's you. And then you're outside of black people, right? Which is like a difference. There is no actual difference because you walk outside and suddenly you like everybody else. So it'd be like, because I don't look like what you think a black woman should look like, that's why I'm pretty. Mm -hmm. So it'd be kind of weird. Like they'd say like, oh, like I remember like a Filipino boy. Not his race is irrelevant, but you're small black, which is relevant. He would, he said to me, I remember we were all in a group of guys. And he was like, Rebecca, you don't actually like look black. And I was like, what does that mean? You know, and he's like, you just don't look it. I know you are, but you just don't look it. And I was like, okay, but like, wh what can I do for you? Like, I fully, you know, like my skin tone's brown, my hair's curly, like, like, I look, like, what do you mean by that? Take it, they meant it, like, I took it negatively, but they meant it okay. Like, they expected me to take it positively. Like, it was a compliment for them, but like, obviously, I'm hearing the like colorist intonation in there, you know? So I'm now, like, so when I was younger, like, uh, my hair was a little coarser, like, my skin was a little darker, like, there, there, there's all these little things. And then, um, now, whenever I see the production community, which is in a lot, when I do, I notice the same compliments that are like not okay. <laughs> adults, the ones that like just are ingrained, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just don't even understand how wrong it is to say the things. We'll say those things. Like, I remember one person came up to me, she was just like, brighter. And I was like, brighter or do you mean lighter? Because I think that's what you mean, you know what I'm saying? She's like, just brighter. I mean, some of you people come up to me, they're like, your hair, like, it's gotten so much nicer. But it's like, nicer or just less coarse? And they just mean less coarse, you know? But like, the women that come from Ethiopia are like, top tier. And why? For the reasons that other black people keep saying. Like, our hair is looser, features are what? More Eurocentric features, which make us look more foreign. And it's always the most foreign that are like... It's, yeah, the more the more foreign you look, it's like the more desirable. Like yeah. The music that you listen to is glorifying what you're saying, you know? Ethiopian, like, features, like, you know, like, or what they think of Ethiopian features. So it'll be like, our, our skin tone, which is just, quote unquote, lighter, which I, okay? Maybe not even true, so it's like, whatever. And then, like, it's always, like, our, like, body features or our hair texture is a lot, like, you know? Because when they imagine, when we're talking about, like, the Ethiopian girls that Drake is talking about, it's not like the darkest skin, it's like more of the ambiguous, yeah, middle range, like lighter skin. Almost not girls. even looking Ethiopian, really. Yeah, and this is like, again, the elements of color, like, okay, you're praising African women, great Ethiopian, but like, a specific sect of Ethiopian women. Like, um, and like, our dad is darker skinned, more so than our mom, and so I kind of was like, oh, like, I wish I came out more on her side of the family instead of his. Just because, like, you'd get, like, little comments, just even from our friends. We grew up with a bunch of Ethiopian people. And so all my Ethiopian girlfriends that were lighter skinned than me, like, it'd be, like, little things that, you know, maybe they would say or just, like, in pictures. I remember I'd be super self-conscious in pictures. Things like that when you're, like, taking pictures with friends. And it's, like, the lighting because I'm, like, invisible in the nighttime when we're taking pictures. And it's, like, no one means anything by it. They're, like, oh, you're so dark skin. We can't see. Like, it's not a huge, like, they're trying to put me down. But it's something that they subconsciously have, have an understanding of. And I subconsciously have an understanding of. But it, like, hits home differently. It's, like, I don't know if it was the same for you too, but like it was like before I was four years old, I was like really light and then it got darker. Yeah, like the colors really transition when, I don't know if that's just being Ethiopian or just being a black person in general. Yeah, just growing up. Yeah, there's like different phases and like different skin just regions. Just even that like middle school was like weirdly darker and then like high school, same kind of, and then like I feel like as I got into university age, like my skin brightened and changed, like not even on purpose, but just like, you know, as your body changes, your color, the melanin, whatever, and just dealing with that even with like our friends that we grew up with and like more people that I was meeting 
black people that I was like, around more as I got into high school, that was where the comparison started. And that's what I think, like, implicitly, it's the colorism, right? Like, the lighter eyes, the bigger eyes. It's like the features that are more Eurocentric. When it comes to, like, within our Abacha community, it was like the little, like, oh my gosh, like, you'd be so much prettier. You. Imagine if you were light skinned though. Yeah. And it's like, you know, that like yellow Abasha color that's like the poster child of, or the, the poster girl, mm -hmm. what she looks like. Um, I, I mean, like, I almost want to say like colorism co came in different forms. Like, it wasn't just like skin color only, it's like hair texture, the features. Mm -hmm. And so, like, when you're talking about colorism, it's not just colorism amongst black people generally, like, being Ethiopian divided me and therefore even while being dark skinned it afforded me something that like other dark skinned women probably didn't have. Um, but when it came to like Amisha beauty, the only time that I was like really influenced was like my grandma. So when she would tell me I'm beautiful, I knew it was from the eyes of Habasha perspective because she came from that. So she, what she saw beautiful is what I interpreted as Ethiopian beauty. So that meant like long hair. Um, you know, we gotta straighten it for some reason. All of us just love straightening our hair because it's like, I guess closer to Western beauty. Yeah, it's closer to Western beauty, which is like, ugh. but it was what it was. And then fitting into Habasha beauty standards, I fit into the traditional Habasha beauty standard mm -hmm. where it's like big forehead, long neck, you know, brown skin to light skin tone, slender features. Like, I, I do fit into that standard, but I don't fit into the Western standard of Habasha women. Mm -hmm. So like in rap music videos, you always get how much you women, how much you women, how much you women. But when they talk about that, they're talking about like curvy, like big teeth, big ass, snatched waist, long curly hair, like two C, two like two C, three A hair textures, yeah. and like just like very very like black and Arab mixed byproduct look. Just because I'm so pale um, compared to most Habasha kids, like. Growing up, everybody was super brown or dark skin, and I was like, I was pale. I was I was paler than this, and my mom was super pale. So in the community, like people would always be like side eyeing or whatever. But my mom always told me like, this is the beauty. Like we come in a different range of skin tones. And when I'd go back home and I'd see her family in that region, everybody looked like me. Everybody was as pale as I was. So I felt like a lot more comfort in that. Man. The only thing that really like fit in terms of how much of beauty standards was my long curly hair. Like my hair went down to my butt, it was like super curly. My mom and my dad always used to praise my curls as like my beauty and my hair like as, as just a, amazing, right? Until like sixth grade when I chopped it all off and that like scared them because they were like, you're not beautiful anymore, you don't look like us anymore. And I, that those were words that I hear from them, my family members, from everyone else. That like, I feel like being light skinned, growing up in this coloristic society, I do understand that I've benefited in so many ways that my darker counterparts will not, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's like, it is my privilege and I recognize that. Like, I'm more accepted by white people, I'm more trusted by white people. I know employers will look at me differently than they will to my dark skin sisters. Like, that's just how it is. Um, yeah, like, I, I've benefited in ways, but it's also helped me back in certain spaces too because I won't be as accepted in their, these communities, that like darker skin communities or more colored communities than I will from white communities, you know? Like, they say see me, and they see someone that's, like, closer to them, so they'll take me in. But, like, I will get rejected from black communities more so than I will from white communities, which is unfortunate to say, but it is a reality of my community. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. That was the look of BW to definitely touch all girls of color that, you know, when I was a Latina, you know, she was going to be that brown skin beauty. Exactly. You know, it was for that. That was the purpose of the group. Every girl of color could look at them and say, she looks just like me. She looks just like me. And they're doing their thing.